No Jumper, coolest Patreon in the world, coolest podcast in the world. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Paige. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. It's nice to have you in here today. Thank you for having me. You can just pull the mic in a little bit more. Or just swing it in, if anything. Yeah, just try to keep it kind of close to the mouth. So you... (laughs) Okay. Um, So we've been talking about doing this for a while. Like a year, right? But you were very standoffish. Yeah. Explain. Um... There was no, like, specific reason. Like, I was in a relationship at the time. Really? Yeah. With who? No name. Anyone like, we know? Was, no. Okay. No. He, um, he, he's a photographer. Well, he was a photographer or whatever. We was in, like, a six-year relationship. And, six years? Wow. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Holy shit. How old are you? 25. Okay. Yeah. So you've known him since you were a kid? Baby. You're fresh out of high school. I mean, kind of. Not and, really. And you met him. He's a photographer. We met um, on Instagram. It was like, I, I didn't have no following really at all. Like, and um, I didn't care to shoot. I didn't care to like post. I didn't care to do none of that. Uh huh. At the time, um, actually, I was like, I was dancing. Uh uh-huh. Shipping, whatever you want to call it. You started doing that when? When you were like 18, 19? 17. So you got a fake ID? No. <laughs> they, they were just down? They was down. Where? Where'd you grow up? A small town in New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. So they don't do the best background checks at the strip clubs there, I guess? I guess when you're, you know, no. <laughs> wow. Quite a risk for them to take. I think that, you know, that club closed. Uh, understandable, yeah. wonder why. I don't know. Right. But, um, yeah, it closed. Yeah, so I started at 17. I would, like, you know, sneak and go do it. I was still in um, high school, so. Right. Yeah. Then and- when I was 18, I moved to L.A., and then uh, I didn't know nobody. I moved to L.A. And I started dancing out there. Okay. Yeah. And did you like the uh, the stripper lifestyle? <clears throat> that's a, like, I feel like that's a, like, a really hard question because I don't feel like anybody really likes it. It's not something like, you know, let, let me clock in and do my job because I, I love being here. And I, don't... I think some girls like it more than others. Maybe. Right. But you I didn't. Mean, you didn't love it. I, I I loved the money that was coming in. Right. Yeah. But I didn't. I don't. I don't know. I've never met personally met like any girl be like, damn, I can't wait to go shake my ass at the club tonight. Right. You know what I mean. Or if they do, I feel like it's kind of like a short lived thing. Like if you're doing it at yeah. twenty, yeah. are you really gonna want to do it at twenty eight? I don't know. I think it just depends on you and like how comfortable you are with yourself and your clientele and you know. That's it. The whole thing with stripping though these days is that if you're a stripper, you're kind of like a girl who, for whatever reason, can't do the OnlyFans thing or whatever because it, it seems like a lot more work. You think so? What? I think Dan- dancing, dancing is OnlyFans. I feel really? like I think so. Just being in there, shaking your ass, having to dance on five million different dudes oh, versus like I, OnlyFans, yeah, I mean, you're, you're make from. a couple videos, take photos. I don't know. But OnlyFans is a full time job. It is, but mm-hmm. I think it's less full time than a, being a stripper. But it's porn, right? Sometimes. Soft porn. Depends on what you're doing. Soft porn. Okay. <laughs> All right, but let's stay on the story. I watched your videos. Uh oh, which mm-hmm. ones? Um. Plug talk. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think? I mean, it was it was cool. So you've never done porn? I I mean I did soft soft porn on OnlyFans, yeah. Right, but how soft are we talking? I mean, what's the definition of soft porn to you? I don't know. I never heard anyone say it besides you. Shit, really? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, soft core I've heard, which oh, would yeah. mean like no soft sex, porn. just sort of nudity. Oh uh, yeah, no. Then I have the wrong definition. <laughs> oh okay. Why you're not naked on OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I fucked on OnlyFans. I, oh. I, my ex. So you consider like fucking and filming it on the iPhone kind of like soft? It's like amateur, I guess. Yeah, Maybe. that's fair. Yeah, right? Yeah, because shooting for a studio with a room full of people for a real porn company, that clearly is like that's different like porn, porn, porn. than your dude fucking yeah. you from behind and getting some head and filming it with the iPhone, which at this point, it's just not that uncommon. Let's be real. What? filming amateur porn like that i feel like everybody does it no it's pretty common yeah. but like the girls who do that like i wouldn't consider you a porn star just because you've done that 
to me, right. porn star really kind of entails more of a production at some point, maybe. But like now, you know, I have to pay somebody every month. I'm sure. To delete, you know, like leak content. Cause I don't know. I don't know if this is true, but they said I was top five leaked content creators overseas and starting to be here. Wow. But it is, like, I don't post that much. Like, I don't. I'd be deleting a lot of stuff. Maybe that's, like, that's why they're sharing it is because you're deleting it. posting it, right? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we have to do that with Plug Talk, too. Dude. We have yeah. to, like, have... Like a DMCA agent. Yeah. Yeah, I hate doing that shit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't do any of it, but... I don't I do not do it either, but it's like... It's like a full-time, <laughs> it's like a full-time job. Okay, but like, what was different when you moved to LA versus New Mexico stripping was? You know what? New Mexico is better. I feel like I'm putting y'all on the map right now, but like it's better because as a dancer, when you work at a at a small club, like a hole, not a hole in a wall, but like nobody, you don't post, you know, it's not no social media. You don't do nothing, nothing like that. It's like a small club that nobody knows about. You make more money from like like a trucker or like a nine to five who don't want to go home to his wife or like. Mm. Instead of going to the club and like fingers crossed, a uh, rapper, an athlete come in and, and fuck with you. But the average dude in LA is not spending money that aggressively. I mean, it, I guess it depends, but no, I don't think so. No, okay. But, you know. Interesting. So then you met this dude in the strip club, or no? How? No, it was like I first made an Instagram, and I guess like he wanted to shoot for like a year, but I was never like into like. I didn't feel like I needed it at the time. And then I was like, one day I was like, all right, fuck. Like, I'm in L.A., you're in L.A. And then we just met and we started dating. Because, you know, I was a child. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. But so did you stop stripping soon after? Or? It was like on and off because actually I feel like that's when OnlyFans first started to come out. Right. And it was like my idea because my, my friend did it. I remember, like, my friend, her name is Cynthia. She was like... Like, I just made 10K this week on a site called OnlyFans. I was like, what the fuck is OnlyFans? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? And she's like, it's a site. I'm not even posting nothing crazy. And at the time, I had, like, a premium Snapchat. That's when, like, premium Snapchat was cool. And, like... Yeah, that's what my girl started on. Right. I, yeah. So. And she made, like, 30 grand her first month. And yeah. I just remember, like, I had never met anyone who had ever on made Only 30 Fans grand. Snapchat? On, it was Snapchat at first. And I, but I had never heard of anyone ever making, like, 30 grand a month. Like, on the internet. I was, right. like, because I'm just, like, a, a fucking punk kid. Like, I'm not knowing what the fuck. I feel and, like it's a different type of money. Like Yeah. yeah. That blew my mind. Yeah. So, he... <laughs> Um, it was kind of like my idea, I guess. I kind of like pressured him into it, and I, um, you know, we started doing it. It did, and you know, it started doing good. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't personally like doing it. Like I don't like being online. Maybe that's a problem. What you don't like responding to the messages yeah. and shit like that? Yeah, I'm not social. Like okay, you know, sometimes I'll do it. I'll but, do it. But like, what I about the actual it. content, like filming sex stuff for like doing I like photo to fuck shoots? On camera. Yeah. Um, like I did it with my significant other, so like I never did it with like anybody random. And then like I don't, I still don't like like collabs with other girls. Like really, yeah, I don't like bitches. Like <laughs> why not? What about them? I'm just not a bitch lover. Like I just don't like girls. I I just feel like um, you gotta find certain girls, especially like in the industry, even like dancing and OnlyFans. Like there's a certain like. I feel like a lot of them are just weird. Yeah. You ever run into that? Mm, yeah. But I mean, like, I don't know. Just weirdos. <clears throat> but this is the thing is that all the girls I know who do photo shoots together or whatever, it's like, do I think that they really <laughs> like each other? They don't. I'm, like, it's not fake. really. I'm not yeah. like a faker. There's plenty of girls that my girl will do photo shoots with or whatever, and it's like, I know they don't really, like, get along as people. They Like, yeah. my girl thinks they're all right, and they, like, <laughs> have a business relationship. They yeah. take hot photos together. But my girl's kind of like you, too, where she, like, isn't she really. She seems, like, a little, like, shy, but she, not, like, shy. She's like, she's just low-key, and she's not good yeah, at faking it. She's yeah. not really, I'm like, not trying to. I'm not a faker. Like, I feel like you can see it in my face. I don't like you. You don't like me? No, not you. <laughs> no, no. Like if I was around somebody that I didn't like, I feel like my face says it. Right, which has got to be tough in the strip club. 
I'm a, I'm a horrible stripper. Right. I just want you to throw a stack in my face and leave. Right. But I feel like that's got to be a tough attitude as a stripper. Not really. No? No. They were still going crazy trying to make you happy? I love being happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I love being happy. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, it doesn't. So, okay, so wh- you know. let me ask this. Your butt. It's pretty... I would say it's what you're known for, perhaps. Yeah, right. When did you, when did that come about, and what and what was it looking like before um, you, you intervened? I mean, prior to working at like a club, I was like 15, 16 working at Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? Like, I mean, I feel like Hooters is kind of like an entryway to the stripper like, world. I feel like it's like, it's like a like an intro drug. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't be able to work at Hooters at 15. Like that's actually really illegal. I feel like most Hooters flirty. would not hire you at that age. I was really cute. Like, you know, like when you talk your way into shit, you just get it. So, yeah. You talked your way into the Hooters job? Yeah. I was at like, 15. I was like, why wouldn't you hire me? Right. You know? What because go, you're 15. What could, if, who, I, if I own the Hooters, that's what I'm saying. Who's going to know? Like Anyone who, who checks your ID. That's like highly <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> but is it really? Yeah. Like eventually, is that really well, that never unlikely? Happened, but I got fired because I sucked. At, like you're a bad waitress. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was so hard about it? I think I just didn't show up a lot. Well, that yeah. I was like, Fuck this. Really, almost any job that would be a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. My my homegirl works there though. Still, you know, it's crazy. They're shutting a lot of them down. No, like she hasn't worked there that long. She actually fights. She in New Mexico. She's an MMA fighter and she works at Hooters. In UFC. I could be wrong. My type. I love her. She's hot. You I, like her. I want to be you, with her. You and Lena would like her. If she could fight and serve wings. That's good promo. That's all I need. Um, okay, so you were working at Hooters. <laughs> this was me asking the butt question. Oh, yeah. And then you said Hooters. You used to work at Hooters. Yeah. Um, like, when did I get my butt done? Yeah. Um... I got implants in my, I was going to do like a YouTube video about it, but I got implants in my butt when I was like younger and I don't know why, but it was like hard for me to gain weight. Now it's not, that's lovely. But like I got implants and then like, you know, when you get first get surgery, I don't know if you don't, you know, but like when you first get surgery, it's like, it gets addicting even though you don't need it. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, let me fix this. But now I got to fix this. Right. Like shit. It's like a never ending cycle when it's like, you have like it's like a form of body dysmorphia right so like i felt like <laughs> you could see the implant so then i went to get shots like in the bronx like i, I got shots in the bronx wow you went all the way to the bronx yeah because well, you heard was, about it in a cardi living, b song i was living like in new jersey new york area okay so you're just bouncing around well i was living with my boyfriend okay so i moved from la new york back to la got new it. york so yeah that was stupid but yeah, no, it was the same person that I did, Cardi. But was he encouraging butt, yeah. you to keep making your ass bigger, or no, was he, it your he didn't desire? Want it bigger? Really? Yeah. But I, you were addicted to it. Yeah, like in a bad way. Really? I don't encourage it. It's not something. Like, here's the lady's number. Go get it done. Like, no. Nah. Right. I would. I, I want to. But you've it. you've Have benefited it. from it so much, right? Because people fucking love it, right? I feel like it's like. Um, uh, like it's a fetish at that point mm. you know like yeah especially on instagram because when you have a big ass and you go in person and walk around like say a mall and shit you get harassed and you, you they look at you like a circus freak right but like on instagram it's like like you know what i'm saying like oh my god like yeah this bitch fine as fuck because she got a big ass and well, just from following like, you, I see which of my friends are liking all your photos, and that just kind of like lets me know, like, oh, he's he's a big ass guy. He's in there, yeah. Which ones? Uh, I don't even know. I can't remember, but I know I've seen some of my homies in there. I bet. You get hit up by a lot of extremely famous guys. Um. Yeah, but I, you know, it's I've I met a lot of them in person. Right. Yeah. Just at clubs or. Yeah, mostly like Houston. New York and actually in LA. You like do you like guys of that caliber? Like what? Like mega famous guys that have no fucking time for you or what? 
Do I like them? Yeah. Is that your preferred type? I like what they pay. <laughs> pay? Uh-huh. So these guys got to pay to spend time with you? Absolutely. What kind of money are we talking here? It's, I don't know. It depends on the person. Really? Yeah. So you have to like the guy and he has to be paying you? Yeah. Really? Is that bad? Mm, I guess it's not that surprising because I know a lot of girls are on that type of shit these days. At the time? Yeah. It's just, just it's always kind of crazy to hear it just because I've, I've never been in that sort of situation. You never had to pay for pussy? No. That's nice. It's not to say I didn't a couple of times, but, you know. You did? I didn't have to. I just did it for the hell of it. You did it for the fun? Did it because I was in China and the prices were super low. You did it in China? Mm. What's the price of this? I think it was like 30 bucks each. It was like two girls for like 60 bucks or some shit. Yeah, but it was just head and I had to wear a condom. It's like gas money. (laughs) I know. (laughs) It doesn't count at all. Your pussy's gas money. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, but okay, when did when did that kind of start to like enter your mind though? Is that you basically weren't willing to spend time with dudes unless they were trying to break off cash? Forever. Forever. Yeah. Just because you started stripping so young. I just feel like once you sexualize me, I want to talk about your funds because why 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 do you get my body? I want to get your money. I don't get it. Mm. But is it that explicit of a thing where it's like uh, you give me this amount of money and I'll fuck you, or is it more just like you have to pay this amount of money? To be around me and maybe I'll fuck you. Right. I feel like they like the tease though. Like, it's like, and I, you know, I get a lot of con- stupid ass comments like on Instagram and it's like, oh, okay, you're an escort. You're with this, you're with this person. You're at the game with this person. Um, you know, so and so. And it's just like, call it, you could call it whatever you want to call it at the end of the day. Um, I don't know. I just, my mentality is just like, it's not, you know, I'm not encouraging any young girl to go be, you know, be an escort. Da, 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 da. No, I'm not. But I feel like when a man wants to invest in you, it's kind of like you're an asset because they're investing in you. They want you to grow. They want you to succeed. And it's more uncommon for a man that's investing in you to just, all right, I fucked you. That's cool. You know, let me f- go fuck the next bitch. Mm. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that that is the problem is that throughout my whole life. Girls weren't really treating their pussy like it had much value, to be real, which is great for somebody like me who's just trying to fuck. But from the perspective of a girl, I could definitely understand why you would want to do that. I even feel like you and, you know, your fiance, you you invest in her and she invests in you. Right. So you guys make a great team. But what we did is that we actually like created a relationship and a business now right. that was basically just like us 50 50 we bought a house together we had a kid together we started a business mm. together etc which is kind of like totally different than what you're talking about which is basically like yeah. you meet a guy and if you yeah. want to even spend time around me never mind <laughs> fuck me you're gonna have to invest and then maybe i guess you would consider being serious with them but i don't think you would ever consider being serious with a guy you meet like I, this right i would never be serious like with a rapper or an athlete or like someone in that industry no Really? Why not? You just don't trust any of them? Not at all. No. Not a single one. You think they're all bad? Some of these guys have had wives for 30 years. They cheat on them, yeah. Some of them? All of them. Not all of them. All of them. Hmm. All of them? All of them. Do you have anything against fucking a famous guy who's married? I don't. I I never have. You haven't? Mm Mm-mm. That's the line for you. I don't like married. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't be mad at the woman. I, I like, I, you know, I've had shit that happened in my past relationship. And at the time, like, I'm like, you know, well, okay, bitch, fuck you. But, like, at the at the end of the day, you know, the man owes you loyalty, mm. not some stranger off the street. Right. That's how I feel. But, like, I feel like there's definitely certain boundaries you shouldn't cross. Right. But you're saying you're in a six year relationship and then you're also talking about how you've had these kind of escort type <laughs> things. So this was going on at the same time or were you just like breaking up and, you know, um, we, you know, it wasn't a healthy relationship. It was actually really bad and really toxic and abusive. Mm. And he tells people like I had affairs with, you know, certain people in the industry, which wasn't an affair. OK, they were paying what I wanted them to pay and I would entertain them and he had no idea that this was going on 
I mean, he found out. Like right. he went through my phone. <laughs> you were secretly <laughs> escorting. Yeah, I could no, understand him being kind of. I wasn't. I wasn't fucking anybody at the time. Like right. in our relationship, like I would entertain them. So I'm like, why do you feel like it's different from OnlyFans? If I'm entertaining somebody on OnlyFans for this you know, real this life, money. that's a massive difference. <laughs> why? If the guy can put his hand on your ass, that's different. My no, girl could we, send news no, no, to no, no, five no. million dudes on OnlyFans. I don't no, care. But we never linked up in person. Ne- what? So how does that work? It just worked. But isn't that 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 falls under the OnlyFans umbrella, right? At the time, or what? You gave him your number, so it felt different to him. I keep hitting this stupid mic. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I just think it was an insecurity thing. But like, I mean, I. I guess I get where he's coming from. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Definitely. Like, every time, like, a song would play in this, he would from get pissed. From one of the rappers that you had been spending time with? Sure. Allegedly. Yeah, I could see that being difficult to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> That's just part of being a grown-up, though, dude. What? Just sucking it up. If your girl fucked a famous dude and you got to sometimes see him on a billboard or whatever, it's like, who cares? But... I'm able to say that as somebody who's kind of like at least in the game. I could imagine if you're like a super regular ass dude. Square. Yeah, that's going to be weird. He's if your green. girl fucked Brad Pitt and every time you just see Brad Pitt on TV, you just, ah! I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you think you're fully like broken? Like you can never have a real love, no, love based relationship? No. Um, I feel like my last relationship really fucked me up, and I don't feel like I'm going to be serious with anybody anytime soon, but, you know. What are your then, ambitions, like I, though? I've still seen other people since what, then. But uh, when you, do you, are you capable of seeing people on, like, a love-based level, or is it all kind of financially I mean, grounded? I feel like I'm a hopeless romantic, like, deep down, but, like. You do not seem like a hopeless romantic. <laughs> Uh, that's not the vibe i I was getting at all Uh, (laughs) but you have that side to you that's what Uh, you're saying yeah no i think so yeah right i mean i come from a small town you know what i'm saying like and like i didn't really have no family like to look up to growing up so like say i wanted to start a family you know down the line or whatever i would want like a, a solid unit like of right. mom and dad you like, didn't have any family what, what was your childhood like um not really like a lot of my family was in prison but and then i stayed with my grandma a lot so okay she went this way. so it was rough um I, <clears throat> I don't know i wanted to say rough i feel like people have a lot worse upbringing than i did right mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it is kind of crazy, though, because you sort of are an example of what they talk about in the manosphere and stuff a little bit, where hot chicks are so just, like, give, like, high-value men are just so dying to, like, give them gifts and treat them like whatever, that you can kind of get away with treating them like whatever. And not only that, you can get away with saying, no, pay me. I mean, it's a crazy new dynamic. I just feel like... Even in the industry, like, so many girls just don't value themselves, especially when it comes to, like, socialites or rappers or athletes. And it's like, why? Mm. You know, you're going to get dogged out, and you're going to go to the next girl. And what did you get out of it? You look stupid. Like, at the end of the day, you didn't get no OnlyFans content. Damn. A date? Yeah. Bare minimum? I mean, girls who are just, like, completely enthused (laughs) about the idea of just fucking random celebrities i mean that's a very understand that that's like step one as a girl in (laughs) los angeles is like you're you're just yeah like in the sense of like i feel like there's all these lessons you learn as you spend time out here like a girl comes here she thinks oh like it's so tight to be in these like rappers videos or it's so sick that i just got fucked by blueface or whatever and it's just like then as time goes by and shout out to blueface i encourage anyone to have sex with him but you know just because that's the homie <laughs> but uh but you know what i'm saying like a lot of a lot of girls like come here and they just be on the most <laughs> basic shit and when i meet chicks who are on that kind of shit it's it is just like oh my god that's that's terrible at least you seem like you know your value definitely right yeah but let's go back to the body dysmorphia so <laughs> you start out with just the implants but was yeah. it like you didn't really like it or did you like it no, but you just it. wanted to go yeah, bigger i don't know why i just wanted to go bigger right and then you know i started taking photo shoots and shit and then you know, they started getting a lot of attention and 
I don't know. Like, like I said, like, oh, there's a little dent here. Let me fix it. Oh, like, da da. Let me fix it. Right. So, yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, because like I see it with my girl where she'll be pointing at girls on Instagram and saying, "Oh my god, I want to get a facelift." This girl just right, got a right, facelift. Right. She looks so good. Yada yada. But my girl also has the thing in her head where it's like she knows that that's not a healthy way to go about it so she's like very you know she's got botox and everything she got a bbl back in the day she got her tits yeah. done but she's not she tries to be like very sparing I with the surgery like, you thing know, do whatever you want to do always to make yourself feel better and happy mm. but i feel like you can get it's easily you could get carried away right yeah. what do dudes want to do with you do they just want to bury their face in your ass i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you're there I don't know. Is that like you said it's like a fetish though? Like, how right. do dudes enact this fetish? Like, on OnlyFans or in real life? In real life. Like, what kind of what kind of guy? Like, are you asking about? I don't know. A guy you might end up spending time with. Like, what do they want to do? Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, as far as what? Well, I gave you the example of them mashing their face into your ass, which I just, that's probably okay. like realistically what I would imagine the average dude <laughs> trying to do. Not really, like, I guess, like, doggy. Yeah. That's, that would probably look fun from the back. Right. <laughs> Do you feel like you really, like, enjoy sex, or are you kind of removed from that at this point? I enjoy it. Right. Yeah. I do. Unless, like, with the right person. Right. The right person. <laughs> What's the worst sexual experience you ever had with, like, a client? What kind of client? A person who was paying you to spend time with you. The worst? Mm. I've never had, like, a horrible one, right? Um, I don't know. I've never really had a really, really... Okay. Well, that's good. Like, bad time. I don't know. What's the craziest thing you ever did? As far as what? Sexually. Like... With somebody, like, or just you, you, in general. Whatever. Like, it's just a prompt. You just say whatever comes to mind. <laughs> I don't know. It's, like, basic shit, like, car sex. Car like, sex. Like, that was with my ex. I don't know. Like, what else? There's got to be something better. Right. What's the craziest thing you've done? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem that crazy, but probably just fucking, like, four chicks at the same time. Like a foursome? Well, really a fivesome, but. Oh. <laughs> you ever done that? No, I did like paid threesomes. Really? Yeah. But you don't like it? Not really. But they're fake. They fake how? Count. Like, you're like fake the eating. The girls pussy? are fake moaning. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, that feels bad. Anyway, you know. Oh, that's got to be so weird as a dude if you realize that a girl's fake moaning while you're paying for her to fuck you. That's so stupid. Though, <laughs> right? You know, like when your dick's hard, you're like, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. You like that? You're like, yeah. You but know? sometimes even doing porn, I can't tell if they're fake moaning. <clears throat> I mean, they I are having know. sex, so it's. But I, I feel like you can't tell. Like I don't know. Like it's, I guess it's, yeah, it's hard to tell. Right? You know when I can tell is when a uh, a girl will be like orgasming, mm -hmm. and normally when a girl orgasms, like when you're having sex, it it kind of sucks because there's like this clamping of the pussy where the pussy just starts to. Like, <laughs> It gets like super tight. The muscles contract while the girl's orgasming or whatever, right? It makes it way tighter on your dick and it makes me way likelier to just nut right then and there, right? Uh, but like a lot of times when I'm doing porn, the girl will be uh, like orgasming, but it's like I could tell because her vagina doesn't feel any different. And that's how I know she's faking it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can feel it. Yeah. For sure. For sure. It just contracts like crazy. It's a it's a wild thing. It's scary. You like squirt and cream. Like I feel like you squirt. I do both. When are you gonna do porn? That is porn. Okay, but like with a real company, browsers or something. Like I get I get shit about it. Like from certain people. Like oh, well, you do porn. You know, like right conversation, like normal conversation. Like, but let's just make it more official. You need to just <laughs> do like a real deal scene. You and Johnny like Sins. Just, Leaning towards plug talk. You and Dread. Well, that would be cool, sure. But um, you know who Dread is? No. I would love to introduce you to him. No. <laughs> He's no. got the biggest dig in the whole world. That's disgusting. That's disgusting? 
Who wants the biggest dick in the whole I world? I think it's only like 12 inches. It's just super wide. That's a foot long. 13, something like that. That's a foot long going in your vagina. I mean, a lot of women seem to love it. Mm. Apparently, he's very gentle. He takes his time. I don't, I don't like gentle, but shit, I don't want like a... You probably want gentle if you're going to take a giant dick in your ass. like In the ass? Well, he does that too, yeah. I'm an anal person. <laughs> Not an anal I could have guessed that. Ugh. You consider yourself a pillow princess? No. <laughs> Why not? Not at all. I feel but like anal no. That is it's not anal my no. Thing. Okay, I understand. But you never even tried? Yeah, I have tried. It just didn't work. It, I mean, it worked, but like you hated it. I hate it. Like I feel like I feel like it's something to do like when I fuck up or something. I'm like, okay. Oh, uh, so you keep it on deck in case. Something bad happens. They catch you escorting. All you the shut the, it's not escorting all the Whatever, time. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like entertaining. No, yeah. I feel you. That's good though. As a girl, you do kind of need that. It's like yeah, you need to get like out of jail charm. free card. Three, <laughs> threesomes are like that. Really? My girl could fuck up pretty bad if she's got a girl waiting for me when I get home that day, and I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. Poosh, it just leaves my mind. She never fucks up, but if she did, she's a good girl. She could probably rely on that. Um, girl at home. <laughs> So no, no to real porn. Maybe, is, maybe after this interview, we'll see how this interview goes. Right, I could, I could tap you in with a, I could create a bidding war, maybe. We gotta make this interview the best interview you've ever had. Get naked. Negative. <laughs> Anything else? Any other ideas? <laughs> well, that's my <laughs> primary idea. That's what has made these go viral in the past. Really? But you can't mm-hmm. even post that to like social. We put it on media. Patreon and shit. Oh. Any but, other ideas? Uh, uh, things that girls do that go viral in here. I mean, just telling like really revealing, <laughs> crazy, horrorish stories, which I don't feel like that's what you're gonna hit us with. You never know. Like, I feel like you gotta ask me. Right. Yeah. I already asked you your craziest story, and you said a paid threesome no. that you didn't enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like, you gotta ask. I mean, I mean, I got a lot of tea, but I've, I've never had an interview. I've never been on a podcast. Okay, but also in Probably my, my chair, in know, my so. old age, I don't really love to do the thing where I ask girls to air out celebrities and oh. stuff. Because Tiana Trump for sure went insanely viral off that. Selena Powell went super viral off what that. What did Tiana Trump go? You know, I used to watch her give head. That's how I learned to give head. I feel like most Americans have watched her give head. And now I get better head. No, it's a fact. Well, if you when you make your porn debut, we can see. Top tier head giver. I mean, again, <laughs> until you've done it. On camera. I mean, fuck, I did it on camera, but it's an iPhone, so maybe that doesn't count. Well, send me the trial. But either way, um, what were we saying? Tiana Trump. What does she go? What did she say? I never watched it. She's she's a goat. Oh, like uh, what what did she said that? Well, what she really said was like she she actually did something kind of ingenious by she's talking about how all these basketball players, these NBA players, were fucking her when she was sixteen or whatever. But she like left a bunch of breadcrumbs for people to figure it out. She was like, oh, it was like. You know, uh, this team and, and this guy was a champion and, and uh, you know, yada, yada. Like, she said enough that it gave people details to try to figure it out, which made people get really into it. I don't know that anybody ever, like, officially figured it out. It's not like anybody got in trouble for it. I don't really like athletes. Yeah. And they're cheap. Right. You ever sleep with Trey Songs? What? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just guess it? What did you say? Trey Songs. What about him? I don't know. He's just like that. That's like the one dude that every girl that comes on here just chooses to talk about. Trey? Yeah. He's cool. He's a friend of a friend too, because AD, who hosts on this channel, he's like friends with him. So I that, told, that's I someone told, I'm not trying I told to talk Trey about. Trey, that he needs counseling one time. For what? Sex addiction? I mean, yeah, but like he he be, I think we got into it one time at a club, and then like <laughs> I said, you need help. He's like, fuck you, pains. And, you know, we just went back and forth. We're cool now. I need to be like him and just spend my whole adulthood <laughs> in the club. No. Talking to every girl. Why? Because <laughs> it's what he's doing. It seems like a good time. I haven't seen him in the clubs. Yeah? Mm-mm. He's well, using I mean, pretty serious charges, out, right? So I, yeah, I heard that. Some kind of charges or a lawsuit or some crazy shit going on, right? I heard something, but I haven't really looked into it. Me neither. That's what the club scene's all about. You could be in trouble in the media and nobody at the club reads the news, so nobody knows. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't <laughs> looked into none of that. I mean, I don't really look into shit. But, you know. Right. Okay, so it's on you now. You got to tell me. What, what's your crazy shit that's going to make this interview go viral? 
You gotta ask me, man. I don't know. <sighs> you ask. I'm I'm an open book right now. I, uh-huh. I've I've been having these conversations with my best friend. I open don't book. Know. For your book? No, an open. I'm an open book oh. right now. And I'm your best friend. Best years. Um. Okay. So you're gonna do plug talk. Is there part of you that just wants to just fully just let it all hang out and make that porn debut and just change your life? If this video goes viral, we can talk about it. Okay. That's more views for you. That's more views for me. There That's we more go. money coming in. We break the internet. Got to be a team. So how the hell did you get a million followers, though? You shit just goes viral all the time? I don't know. You know, I only have like 60 posts, but I'm mm-hmm. going gonna, gonna to delete them again and start over. Really? You know, I've been deleted seven times, though. Seven? Yeah, seven times. How much is the most followers you ever got up to on one of them? The current one. I have like two pages, yeah, but yeah. Wow, that's insane. 1.3. I I, I feel like you are sort of like a leader in the genre of like making a dude just follow you around while you just walk around and just film your ass. That was me? I feel like that's like a new genre of Instagram post. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do very well with those. I actually made one today. (laughs) (laughs) Walking around where? Like coming here, like outside the hotel. Can we do one for the No Jumper TikTok? Yeah. We just film it in here. I hate these headphones. That would be yeah. so funny, actually. And we could have me and the guys like like just sitting there like looking. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Listen, I'm down. We got we to gotta get on some funny-ass TikTok shit. That's what will go, go viral. What else goes viral? I don't know. I'm new to this. You're, you're an OG. I am, kind of. Right? What goes viral? Um, You walking out and acting super offended, which I feel like we're kind of past that. We're friends already. Yeah, I don't know what I could do that really piss you off. Um. So you, you, the the girl getting super offended, really just like any kind of conflict. For sure, if I spit on you, we're going viral. <laughs> My reputation might take a bit of a hit in, <laughs> in the meantime, but like that that's one thing. Violence really goes crazy. Any kind, if, even if I just screamed at you, if I just called you a bitch and just like, you Never. know, fucking stupid bitch. I'm like, not even a bitch though. I know. That's I'm why. So calm, <laughs> and I'm just not the kind of person who's going to explode on someone on camera. But I'm just saying that like extreme emotion is usually what goes, goes viral. Tame conversation, not so much. I think it's, it's a topic though. Right. Right. Well, I'm just saying, the topic doesn't matter as long as it gets intense. We could be arguing over the best kind of dog, but if I'm <laughs> screaming like Dobermans are better, you <laughs> fucking cunt. That sounds viral. That, that's a crazy. If I really mean it, if they could tell I'm pissed. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. All right. What What else we got to talk about? This is your last chance right now. I'm not <laughs> I don't know, shit. Um, I don't know. Have you ever made a video with like a super famous girl? I mean, I guess like porn stars, right? Just porn stars, yeah. Porn stars. Not like a non-porn famous girl, but I guess we fuck like the most famous porn stars for the most part, so that's cool. No, I was watching it. So what, you bought the pl- the plug talk only fans no. and fully tuned in. Your content was leaked. Oh Jesus! Went to freeway. Don't tell them that. Only plugtalk.com. Much better viewing experience. Sorry. Five dollars. Come on. I made like videos with like a basketball player. How's that? It's kind of whack. You seem like you hate sex. I love sex, but it has to be good sex. It seems like none of it's good. That's not true. I feel like rappers have better dick than. What's the best sex you've ever had in your life? See, you I hit guess them all. My eyes. <laughs> Just because you were together for so like long. He's gross now. Yeah, like I can't look at them the same now. Right. You like orgasm I mean, I multiple could. times in one sex session or no? A rapper. A rap sure. another rapper. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aren't they the best? That's what this channel is all about. Hey. Rappers and sex. All right. I appreciate you. Let's try to get creative on TikTok. I believe in us. We could do it. We could think of something good. How many followers you got on TikTok? Um, I just got a new account, but like my last account got deleted. They hate women. Right. What's going on on there? I mean, you were probably posting some crazy ass shit, but no, I wasn't. Really? Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. Well, I no. appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Check us out on the internet if you want to see anything else. And uh, plug talk episode coming soon. I assume.